Well, the entire American Revolutions program, I think, is one of the most uh, thrilling things I've ever been part of in my life. Uh, looking at moments of change in our country's history and uh, dramatizing those moments of change for audiences, and audiences have responded so passionately. Uh, when Lisa Loomer decided, as an American Revolutions writer, to write about Roe v. Wade, and in particular about the woman who was the plaintiff, uh, the woman behind Jane Roe, and Sarah Weddington, who argued the case uh, in front of the Supreme Court, uh, I was absolutely terrified and very, very excited uh, because that is a hugely important moment of change in our country, that, that Supreme Court decision and everything that led up to it and everything that has happened since that decision was made. And, you know, so to really look at the lives of the women who were very connected to that decision, um, I think is going to be revelatory. You know, a lot of people don't know a lot about Sarah or Norma, and their stories are really, really interesting. Uh, I love Lisa's work. We've worked together almost 20 years now. I have directed her work in many contexts. She wrote one of the most beautiful cornerstone projects for the community-based theater that Allison Carey and I co-founded and that I was artistic director of for 20 years. It was called uh, Broken Hearts, a BH Mystery, and it wove together four LA neighborhoods that shared the initials BH. Uh, Boyle Heights, Baldwin Hills, Beverly Hills, and the Broadway and Hill District of Chinatown. We cheated on Chinatown a little bit. And she wove together these four neighborhoods in this beautiful mystery uh, story that spanned 70 years. Uh, I, I directed uh, her play Living Out about uh, Latina nannies and the white women uh, whose children they cared for, uh, West Side Moms. Uh, in Los Angeles, and I, I directed the world premiere of that at the Mark Taper Forum. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I can go on and on, but but I've, I've been able to work with Lisa on multiple projects, and I feel like uh, her playfulness as a writer, her humor, uh, her commitment to theatricality, to uh, looking at uh, social issues in ways that are entertaining and accessible, uh, challenging issues that can really get under your skin, but that she approaches in a way that really gives access to people. Uh, I, I just think she's quite remarkable, you know, and, and I'm thrilled that she's an American Revolutions writer and that I get to work with her. The characters in Row really uh, span the whole gamut from uh, very, very decidedly uh, pro-choice to very decidedly pro-life. Uh, and uh, there are even uh, characters who shift their views over the course uh, of the story. Uh, I think what Lisa's done that's so remarkable is she really reveals the humanity of every character. And so where everybody, wherever somebody sits uh, in their own heart in terms of the issue of abortion, I think Lisa's given space for everybody in the audience to come and experience the story and experience the truth of what has happened uh, in uh, th these years since Roe v. Wade was argued before the Supreme Court and in the aftermath of that decision. You know, we produced all the way about LBJ's 11 months uh, in office uh, leading up to his legitimate election, uh, his legitimate term. Uh, in 2012, which was a presidential election year, and now four years later to be doing another American Revolutions play uh, in a presidential election year is, is, feels uh, vitally important to me, actually. Uh, there is no doubt whoever the final uh, candidates are for the major parties, there is no doubt uh, that the issue of abortion is going to be more foregrounded in this presidential election than it has been in years. And uh, so to look at what happened in 1973, what led up to that, the aftermath since then, from the vantage point of a pres presidential election year in 2016, feels uh, like something that a theater company should be doing. And uh, I think the uh, feelings and the uh, discussions that it's going to engender are going to be really uh, intense and really productive and really worthwhile. The story of 
the passage of Roe v. Wade and the aftermath of the passage as embodied in the lives of these two protagonists, Sarah Weddington and Norma McCorvey, uh, is so compelling. And as crafted by Lisa Loomer, it's so uh, entertaining as well as thought-provoking and moving. And I think audiences are going to be blown away. I think audiences are going to be so deeply invested in this story. And uh, I just can't wait to share it with our audiences from April all the way through October.